Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the TrueSDX to use it together with a computer to make digital modes. Let's go. What you will need is obviously the TrueSDX, um, hopefully tuned and uh, completely set up. A good USB data cable. A standard stereo 3.5 mm audio um, cable with two 3.5 mm stereo connectors on both ends. And another 3.5 mm cable, but this one is a little more special. We're going into this detail um, in a second. And a PC with a sound card with uh, headphones and microphone connections uh, separately or uh, alternatively a USB sound card that provides the same connector. So let's have a look at that special cable. I labeled them so I do not mix them up. Uh, this is PC audio out. This side uh, can be from a normal audio cable like you can buy. The other side you cut off and then I, I've cut off the, the third uh, connection here. This inner connection here would be the tip. Let me zoom in for you. This inner connection would be the tip. The tip is not connected in this case. Both, uh, both connections. These two are connected only here. That's the whole secret, because the microphone connection is this one, uh, and by feeding both of them to here, we don't have such a, a mix-up. But it would be deadly, no, not deadly, but it's definitely not working if you use a standard cable, because uh, the tip is feeding the DAR line, and this would mess stuff up. I'm going to show you. As you can see here, the microphone connection or, the, or audio in is the middle of this connector and this is DIT or straight key in case you use it. So this should not be connected to the audio of your PC. This is why we need the special cable, that's all. Since we have a thunderstorm here, um, I will show that only connected to a dummy load, but I will show you the whole PC connection. So let's start with the special cable. Uh, True SDX microphone is being connected to PC audio output. This is uh, the, the socket with the headphone symbol on it or next to it. Next, we are connecting the audio output of the True SDX to the microphone input of the PC. And last but not least, we're taking care about our USB. I have a, another one connected to my PC already, so I will just connect the TrueSDX. And voila, it comes right up. And now let's go to the software side. Uh, by the way, if you wanted to um, put out more power, because with the USB supply only, it can only make like half a watt and if you want full 5 watt in digital modes you need to also connect the external power supply. The first thing I suggest when opening up uh, WSJTX is to create a new setup. In my case I call it TrueSDX. Um, make sure you are in that setting. Then you're going to settings and in the radio section, you will see the CAN boot TS480. Uh, Paul interval, I choose one second. Um, you choose the right COM port. The, this means uh, your um, CH340 drivers already need to be installed. You can check that in your device manager, just uh, to make you aware of that. You see here, this is my uh, CH340. It's on COM5 and so I select COM5, baud rate needs to be 38,400. Um, 
we have eight data bits, one stop bit, uh, no handshake, none. Um, the force control lines, this is important, um, high, DTR high and RTS low, because uh, DTR is the reset pin. Um, so this should be high, otherwise uh, it, it could permanently reset and the RTS pin should be low because otherwise it would trigger the uh, CW output. Uh, PTT method, we choose cut. Um, this doesn't matter because we don't have that option. Mode should be USB and split operation none. And if we click to test cut, the button goes green. This means we already have established a connection. So general settings is my, my yeah, nothing much to do. But now to the interesting part, um, we need to choose the right devices. Um, in this case, it's the, the input of the sound card and the output of the sound card that's built in this PC here. And that's basically it. Now we are ready to to use that thing. I'm just going to demonstrate it. I'm disconnecting my uh, external power supply, so I'm tra transmitting only with 500 milliwatts, but I can set it to tune and it's going to transmit. Let me show you. It's transmitting. As you can see, I'm going to stop it and it's stopping. And if I'm changing frequency here, I'm just now turning the frequency on the TrueSDX and this is what happens. It changes also here. And vice versa, if I change band, for example, you heard the click maybe, it changed frequency here. So this is how cut works and the setup works. One thing you should take care about is uh, this power bar um, as this should not overdrive and uh, yeah you should probably listen to your signal and uh, set it up don't crank it all the way up just do it uh, decently and finally let me show you my uh, n1mm setup okay that's uh, Go to config ports and you can see here I've selected also COM port, COM5, TS480, CW other. And when I go to the settings, it's basically the same thing we configured in, uh, in the other software before. Uh, 38400, parity none, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, DTR pin always off, RTS pin is CW and this means you, you can also send CW with it just by activating that pin and yeah now if I use my macros it will go into transmit mode that's what you what you saw in the other video that's how I configured it and you can very comfortably use the TrueSDX uh, in contest situation that's all for today Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if you, if, if anything is unclear, uh, post a comment below and uh, I will try to, to answer them as soon as possible. And yeah, please, if you, if you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. That helps uh, making the channel more popular and getting the word out. And like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. 73. Good luck. Talima 2. Mike Alpha November.